What's up guys? Picker here. Yes. Um today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on uh I'm going to call this the inverted scope. And here's a quick example of what this kind of looks like. So kind of two quick examples. One is like the entire thing is inverted and we got some cool lines. And uh it kind of looks like thermal almost. And then the second one is like parts of it is um regular and then some parts are um thermal looking. And uh, this effect looks, I didn't have, <coughs> sorry, I didn't have a clip, but it looks better on highly contrasted maps, so like uh, a snow map would look the best for this effect, I would think. Anyways, let's jump right into it, um, delete these two layers, and we're going to make an adjustment layer. We're going to go to when he first scopes in, right about here and trim the adjustment layer by holding alt and then begin bracket right there alright so we got the scope and uh, we're gonna go up here to our tools and go to our lips tool click in the middle and hold shift and control for a uh, PC shift and command for a Mac and then we're just gonna drag to about the scope alright and we're gonna search up invert boom and um, we can change the expansion if you want to make it uh, like a little bit of the scope or just have it right on the thingy. Now it looks pretty bleak, so what we're going to do is search levels and put that before the invert. And basically what we're going to do is just contrast by using the um, input whites and the input black. So just kind of mess with it so you get a nice cool looking effect, you can probably contrast it a little bit more, just somewhere around there. You can also color correct it by using some curves or something and just kind of change mm -hmm. the colors or you know whatever you want. But um, anyways, so that's the first example where the whole thing is just inverted, but maybe you want only the people inverted. So that again, like what I said, it works better when um, you have a snowy map and the people are pretty much black and you can, it's very contrasted. So what you're going to do for that is actually search up CC Composite, so um, if you have the CC effects, and set it to Add. Now it makes everything super bright, so what you're going to do is go back to the levels and contrast it even more using the um, RGB input white. So just contrast like that until you can kind of see that, um, you know, the darker the darkest spots are being inverted and um, yeah it gets added back onto the original clip that's why everything else looks normal so that looks kind of cool and then just you know trim the layer and then if you want it to go back in the scope we'll just have to duplicate the layer but um, the basic thing I just wanted to go over is you know adjustment layer put an invert put a little circle mask on it and um, contrast it to make it, you know, look how you want. And then CC Composite if you have a contrasted snowy map, typically. And if not, you can just uh, invert the whole thing. It looks like you got some cool thermal scope going on right here. Probably contrast the blacks to make it even brighter. Try not to get too contrasted with it. It's oversaturated. So maybe if you want, you can add a little tint to it. And um, it's kind of tinted down so it's not too crazy. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, pretty cool effect, I think. Uh, go ahead and like the video, comment, favorites, and thingies and stuff. And if you got any questions, let me know. And that's it. <laughs>